Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today we're going to go ahead and create this rustic family home. So if you'd like to go ahead and download this for yourself, it is up in the gallery now. My origin ID is real Thomas TV one um, So this build actually only features three packs, being cats and dogs, jungle adventure and kids room. So I'd actually plan to do this rustic family home style um, as a separate video, um, but I also had a video planned to do a three pack build um i've done one of those a few weeks ago and um i was just going to call it you know a, a three pack build but like i was thinking well these three packs that i've chosen kind of fit with a rustic theme in terms of jungle adventure at least and I thought, you know what, there's nothing really wrong with calling the title a three-pack build, but I thought maybe giving it a name would be a little bit of a better idea. So this is what we're doing here. Um, if you have any more different combinations of three-pack builds I could do, please let me know because they're actually really good to do, um, especially for people who may not have all the packs. So it's a much more useful build to make. Um, and like I said, I've done one before, which was Cats and Dogs, um, Parenthood and Laundry Day. Um, I've got another one planned as well for um, City Living spa day and fitness stuff so that'll be coming next i think but if you have any more combinations please let me know because that'd be really helpful um you know to hear and any kind of themes that you think from those three packs would be good to hear too um so i'm building this on the 40 by 40 lot is it or the 40 by 30 i can't really remember i'm just going to check on the gallery really quickly um but I, this one's in brindleton bay um i don't know why but recently i've only just started building in brindleton bay Um, i normally just build in new quest because <laughs> i just like building where there's no lot already there so i don't have to go in and you know already like you know bulldoze a lot so um I just do that and make it kind of easier for myself. Um, but I just really like this sort of area in Billington Bay, especially for these type of like family homes and such. So um, I decided to build it here. Um, so it's on, yeah, it's on a 40 by 40 lot, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and it came in at 218,268 simoleons. So I think that is maybe a little bit too pricey, but you know what? I don't really like to restrict myself that much. And since we're already doing a restricted pack build, I didn't, you know, really want to also, <laughs> you know, have, like add on more stress to it by having a price restriction. Um, but yeah, so the reason that, well, the reason that's not what I was supposed to say, the how like I actually do this, if you're wondering, is that I actually use the command line arguments feature in Origin. Um, so what you have to do is, is that James from the Sim Supply made this website um, where basically you click all the packs from this list of what you don't want and it kind of creates a string of like codes and stuff and you just copy into that box in the game properties and origin and then when you load the game only the you know the ones that you didn't select are there so that's really really good for these restricted pack builds I always do that for um, base game builds in particular because it's so easy to accidentally pick something up. And the other thing as well is that it takes it out, like all the other items that you're not using from the other packs, it takes it out of the menu bar. So like all these little items here you can see on the bottom, um, which is great because I've noticed before when I didn't do that for base game builds, for example, if I was going ahead and, you know, decorating something and I saw an item that I really, really liked and was going to fit in this particular room and then I realised, oh, it's from a pack, so <laughs> I can't use it. Well, disabling them means that you're not going to see them, so you're not kind of, like, really frustrated or whatever that you can't use it um, and it kind of just doesn't cross your mind. So it's a really great way to just to kind of really focus on the items that you got, if that makes sense. Um, so it's a really good feature. And then once you want to re-enable your packs, all you have to do is just backspace that thing out of the thing. I that didn't make sense, out of the command line arguments box. So, um, you know, I think that'll be a bit more easier to do these type of builds. Um, and yeah, so right now we're working on the interior already. I don't know if that's like, you know, like four minutes in already on the interior, but this build actually took me a little bit longer than normal. Um, I worked on it for like, well, I spent four hours on it, not actually four hours though. I started at like 4 p.m. and then ended it around, well, actually about three hours in total time, but I had breaks and stuff in between. So, um, you know, not as long as that, but um, still a little bit longer than normal. Um, I don't really know why, to be honest. I feel like it was probably because we didn't have all the items that I'm used to using in every build. So I had to kind of really kind of pay attention to finding other things that I might not use all the time, um, which I mean, adds on time on the build but at the same time it's really good for kind of just switching up what you do in terms of builds so you know that worked out well I suppose um and what else was going to say well 
I went for like a um, sort of like a lighter colour scheme on the outside and then inside here you can see what we've got for a darker colour scheme. I don't know if that's, you know, a bad or good thing. It's just something that I did. Um, and I really actually like the shape of the house that we went for. Um, it's a little bit different from what I normally do in terms of how I structure the home. Um, like in terms of just how it looks on the outside. Um, I've noticed sometimes if I build kind of continuously I'll end up doing a similar you might notice like similarities in terms of how the outside of the house looks so um you know I was it was kind of nice to switch things up too and I'm actually really really happy how this home turned out um you can see that we're using um the ivy well wall plants I guess um from Jingle Adventure too and I think it looked really really great with this home um I did have purple in because I would have overlapped the white colour swatch and the purple colour swatch but before I went to upload it to the gallery I was looking at the picture of it like what it generates for the gallery and I was just looking I was like you know what the purple just doesn't really fit that well so um I just went ahead and took it out and just left the white there um so you know it still looks pretty good I think You'll also see how I do this little trick with the planter boxes on the windows is that I overlap them. So I have this kind of basic sort of looking one on the bottom and then there's another one, both from base game, and then there's another one which I overlap on the top which has like more colourful flowers on it and I'll kind of centre that um, and you'll probably, if you've, you probably saw me do it early in the build but um, I do that quite a lot recently. I, I can't remember who it was by who I first saw do that but I thought it was a really nice feature and kind of just adds a lot more um, even though it's a really simple thing um, just adds a little bit more decoration to the front of the home or well I didn't just do it on the front I did it all around a lot actually um, so like I said this has got four bedrooms four bathrooms um, and it does have two kids rooms now the reason that I start like I choose kids room um, as the stuff pack for this build and um, because I normally like to choose an expansion game pack and stuff pack and um, well the reason I chose kids room was because I feel like recently uh, well not even recently just all the time to be honest when I do family homes I don't really like to put in kids rooms well not that I don't like to it's just a bit of a pain to be honest um, and a lot of the homes that I do are a lot more expensive and um, I kind of feel like sometimes if I'm doing a huge big fancy mansion having then a really colourful kids room just never really seems to fit that well and that's probably one of the reasons that I never really include them that often um, but I thought that you know to make it a little bit more practical I'll go ahead and um, you know do kids rooms and stuff so um, that's what I decided to do today. So it's currently the 1st of June that I'm recording this on. Um, I am kind of pre-recording a little bit, so you're probably seeing this maybe next week from when this video, like I'm doing this voiceover. Um, I'm just going to actually check really quick to see if I can find um, the upload date because I have this kind of, I've mentioned this nearly every single build, but I have this uh, spreadsheet where I basically just keep track of all of the build ideas. Uh, well, not just build ideas, I hang, like a column for the video title and then the date I uploaded it on and I've got that for every single video just so I can keep track of of everything and then if I'm like it's a really good feature as well because say if I'm kind of wanting to do a theme but I kind of have a feeling I may have done it before um, and since it's on um, I just do this on Google uh, Sheets as well like an online one um, and I just press Control F for like the find feature you know that you can do um, and I kind of just type in that video idea and then I can see if I'd uploaded it at some point which is great um, so I don't end up you know accidentally repeating a the theme um, and maybe if I have done it I can then if I if it's something that I really want to do but I've already done it before and then I might make a variation to it as well so that's a great feature for that and um, but then I also have another column for build ideas and everything so this build uh, should be going up on the 11th of June, I think, um, but that's subject to change. Um, you know, I, I don't really have a very strict schedule for when I'm pre-recording. I'm just trying to pre-record as much as I can um, because my exams are from the 4th to the 18th. So I'm just trying to get as many videos as I can done um, for in between that period um, up until the 18th. So then I don't have to kind of, you know worry about getting videos done during the exam time um, and you know just allows me to focus a little bit more and yeah so what else is going to mention well on the 18th it'll probably be my last video before cats and dogs comes out um, because cats and dogs comes out on the 22nd um, but since I'm a game changer we've been told that we will get early access to seasons so I presume the videos like the actual um you know like um, well, I can't think the early access videos will probably start on the 21st I would think it's normally a day before the pack goes out um, and then we'll also have the um, free update coming as well with the new roof type the glass roof so that's going to be really great and um, so I can't wait for that I've been, I think all of us have been wanting that for such a long time and um, so I have a few build ideas I could do with that glass roof too so that'll probably be coming that day whenever the you know the update comes and um, so yeah stay tuned for that 
and kind of talking about seasons and stuff if you have any more build ideas that you want to see with the pack then please let me know i've had so many people send me ideas and it's really really great and i've just been adding them to this big list so if you have any more ideas for seasons and for that matter any just any builds or video ideas you have feel free to send me them anytime and um, i always say the best place to do it is my email address which is contact.thomastv at gmail.com but i know that sometimes you know making an email is a bit of a pain so um feel free to just send me as a twitter dm the reason those two places are the best is because in terms of like public replies and stuff and comments i do get a lot more of those than i do kind of you know um emails and stuff like that so it's easier to keep track of them and um, so there's a less chance of me kind of losing your idea so you know, um, that's why I think that's a good idea. So, um, what else can I talk about? Well, as you can see, we're right now working on one of the kids' rooms. I kind of wasn't paying attention there for a second, so I can't think if I've done the girls' room. I don't think we have. Um, but we're just kind of decorating it here. Um, since it's a sort of like a, I mean, I wouldn't really say basic type of home but it's a bit more of a kind of older style home um i didn't really go crazy on the kids decoration so it didn't stand out way too much um but you know I i'm still pretty happy with the room and yeah so this is the girls room as you can see here of course it doesn't have to be for a girls in a bedroom i just girl a girls in a bedroom a girls in a boys bedroom they can be for any sim you want really i just make this as a general thing then you can change it up to fit your sims however you want um and yeah so i'm also kind of curious as well let me know if you actually like use my builds in let's plays and stuff because i love to see if anybody like is using my builds in their let's plays because i love to check that out to see you know my game in somebody else's um gameplay that would be really nice to see um and yeah so this room right here is sort of just a spare bedroom i wouldn't really say it's a master bedroom um but it's kind of just another general room that doesn't really have a specific theme to it um but that's what we're doing here and i uh, think this is a second last bedroom yeah because we've got that room as you can might be see just there in the background with the white walls that's the master bedroom i think um and those mirrors there as you can see from jungle adventure i absolutely love when we've got jungle adventure i've never really used those before um but for some reason they just fit really nicely in this home so you would have seen i used one downstairs as well um so that's what we did and also, you may have seen it at the beginning, I totally forgot to mention this, um, but I actually had this little room at the back, which kind of just had an archway going through to it. That was going to be the laundry room, then I kind of forgot, oh, I don't have laundry in this build, so I can't really do that, so I turned it into a study. Um, and yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this voiceover up here. I really hope you enjoyed. In the comments section down below, let me know about what you thought of it. Leave a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't, and go ahead and download this from the Sims 4 Gallery. My origin ID is RealThomasTV1, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!